Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a short video about a subject that I've become very familiar with the past nine months or so, and that is RSI and drumming. And it's a subject I don't think gets the coverage it deserves. Or if it does, it's usually the, the AMA party line of, well, you need to slow down, stop doing whatever it was that caused it, take um, anti-inflammatory drugs, and if that eventually doesn't get better, then you could then you have to have surgery. And uh, through my research, I found that that doesn't have to always be the case, and there are other techniques for dealing with it that doesn't involve <laughs> copious amounts of money. Um, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a sad fact that these uh, techniques aren't more wide. Well, basically, this is a very, in a nutshell, definition of what happens with repetitive stress injuries. You have the muscles that open and the muscles that close your hands and arms and basically for most of us we overuse the muscles the um, the flexors that close and underuse the muscles that open the extensors when that happens is the uh, flexor muscles get overused and uh, they basically become bullies and they pull and stretch on the extensor um, muscles and tendons which become inflamed and um, basically that's it in a nutshell now my own my own history of RSI basically started with a uh, minesweeper and uh, uh, I'm basically <laughs> obsessive about uh, my uh, minesweeping and you can see my my um, my expert record right here. I'm in. Uh, I'm a world ranked minesweeper. I'm in the top 500 in the world right now. But um, basically, um, yeah. I mean, holding the mouse is a very unnatural thing. And uh, also, when uh, when I bought Tommy Igo's uh, Great Hands for a Lifetime, I started working on it when I I had this big plan of oh, I'm gonna practice this for hours a day. And and uh, after about two weeks, I realized I went way too gung ho, and uh, and basically, which I started doing like the normal thing where you rest it and take the the ibuprofen, and basically I, I got tired of waiting, so I just started looking on the internet, and I found ended up finding some videos on YouTube, and uh, that's how I found out about this stuff. So thank God for YouTube. So basically, I'm just going to show you a few of the, the techniques that I found that were applied to me. Now, a little disclaimer here, I'm not a doctor. So don't listen to anything I say, I guess, I don't know, whatever. Um, a lot of these techniques I found on were um, through various sources, but I actually found a channel by a woman named Helma Volk, and you can find a link to that right here. And uh, basically, she has all this all this set out in one place. Like I found various different videos that had a bit here and a bit here, but this is the first place where I found everything that you could, everything that I know of, that I found uh, in one place. And she goes through the whole thing of basically the muscles starting, the muscles and nerves starting up in the neck and going all the way down through your hands. And um, um. I'll just show you the stuff that applied to me. You could go there and find out um, what applies to you for your particular problem. And the interesting thing is with her videos is um, she talks about how a lot of the times the, um, the carpal tunnel uh, syndrome gets misdiagnosed, and it also it 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 all it you may um, you may exhibit signs of carpal tunnel, but it may be something that starts further up. And that, that was very interesting, but uh, yeah, so here are a couple of the things that applied to me. Um, when, it first, when I first had the first inflammation about nine months ago, what ended up helping me was, um, was doing this stretch. You, you put your, your thumb like that in your hand and you pull forward and that pulls on these tendons here and that stretches that out. Um, also, you massage in here on the thumb. You can get in there with your elbow like that, and that um, that massages the muscles in here. 
and then you basically kind of just like stretch this way. Um, also, also there's muscles in here and you basically kind of want to massage the muscles. You find the, the, the areas that are sore and you basically massage those. Um, there's some muscles right here. There's a couple uh, that go from uh, here to here, in and there. And you basically find the ones that are tender. And uh, you just massage them. And you want to go. You want to go easy on your other hand because it's probably not in very good shape either. So yeah, you use your uh, elbows. Do kind of like that. And there's that area in here, especially for drummers, where the fingers are. Um, the other interesting thing was, um, is, um, she, uh, goes over is for painters and drummers, um, who do this motion a lot, there's a muscle right here, and, uh, you kind of want to get in there, it's a little almond-shaped muscle, and it could have referred pain that goes up to the into your thumb. I don't understand it, but uh, she explains it better than I do. But those are the ones that apply to me, so... And, um, yeah, since I've been doing this, it's, uh, it's getting better, and it's, uh, it's an amazing thing. So, yeah, that's about it. Check her videos out. I highly recommend them, and, uh, hopefully you could solve the solve whatever problems you have or or um uh, prevent prevent problems from occurring yeah that's what i meant to say okay that's it thanks for watching